Gary, first question up front. Jason, uh, how special is it to win the, the Kobe Bryant Award? I mean, you, Kobe's your all-time favorite player. I mean, you cherish the guy. And, and what's that like to win this award on this night? Yeah, it's, uh, it's extremely special for me. I was, uh, my first All-Star game was in Chicago um, in 2020 when they renamed the MVP after him. And uh, I remember telling myself that, that day that, you know, I got to get one of those before I get done. And, uh, you know, to, to be able to wear my signature shoe today and, and break the record and, uh, you know, take home this award of somebody that, you know, I idolized, uh, you know, it's a hell of a day. Jason, did you know that 52 was the record? Were you kind of gunning for it at the end? Uh, I found out like midway through the fourth. Uh, I remember running down the court. Uh, one of my assistant coaches told me, and then Dame, I think I had like 49, and Dame was like, yo, the record 52, like go get it. And then I was like, all right, I'm going uh, you know, to go get it. Back right. Hey, Jason, uh, that back and forth with um, Jalen, how was that for you? I mean, you've probably done it a lot of times in practice, but, but during a game or in a game um, with the world watching, how did that feel for you? Uh, you know, that was like another day at the office for us, right? You know, been on the same team for six years now. Uh, we've played countless number of one-on-one -on -one games, scrimmages against each other. Uh, you know, we've always, you know, kind of brought the best out of each other. Um, so, you know, it was a normal day for us, just millions of people watching um, on one of the biggest stages. So just had a little fun with it. Jason, you just, uh, back here, you just mentioned um, the same element of fun, just touching on that one more time. You and Jalen are such good friends. How special was it for tonight to be so big for you and to be able to share that with your friend like Jalen and everything else that came along with the success of tonight? Uh, extremely special, right? Um, you know, every, the two times or three times I've been an all-star, uh, three of the four times I've been an all-star was with the teammate, um, you know, two with JB, one with Kemba. And uh, those are the, the, the best all-stars, right, to share it with somebody that, you know, you spend, you know, every day of the week with, essentially. Um, so, you know, extremely happy for him. Um, but, you know, we talked about it. Now it's, it's go time. You know, we got to be on the same page. We got one goal, uh, one common goal, um, and that's to win a championship. So, you know, this was a good break for us. Uh, mentally and physically, and uh, it's time to get back to work. Dave here in this corner. Jason, you said you've made the vow to yourself back in 2020 that you wanted to win that award someday, uh, the Kobe Bryant MVP. Did you tell anybody leading into this weekend that, like, I'm going for that? Any teammates, coaches, anything like that? Uh, yeah, I told my coaches, I told my friends that, uh, you know, they all knew that I was going to wear my shoe today. And so I had a little more motivation to, to play well, right, in the debut of my signature shoe. Um, you know, I wanted to win MVP. I didn't. I, I didn't think I'd get 55. Um, but you know, that's icing on the cake. Right, Jason, how you doing? Um, how is it easy is it to separate your emotions playing against guys in your conference against uh, big rivals, and then go back against them uh, after the All Star game? Uh, it's, it's easy, right? This is this weekend is supposed to be fun. This is supposed to. You know, recognize guys for how well they played in the you know, first half of the season. Um, it's a huge honor to be here, um, you know, not only for yourself, but for your uh, family and friends um, and all the NBA legends that, you know, came before you. Um, so it's supposed to be fun. It's a lot of fun. Uh, but, you know, now it's time to get back to work. Over in the front, center. Jason, you mentioned, you mentioned how this weekend is supposed to be about fun and first and foremost, but would players rather this game in particular be more defensive focus towards the end, or I guess, like, would you rather have more defensive intensity throughout the game or more free-flowing offense? Uh, it honestly just depends. You know, I think they've done a good job with the, you know, changing the ending, right, of the game. Um, but, you know, safety and, and safety first, right? You know, it's supposed to be fun. You don't want anybody to, to get injured or get hurt. Uh, but, you know, it's always great for the, for the game and for the fans, especially if it comes down, you know, to the last couple of um, buckets. Um, like it did in Chicago the first year. You know, that was, that was the most competitive all-star game I've been a part of, and that was incredible. Standing over here on the right. Um, hey, uh, with your threes falling for you today and yesterday uh, going the way it went, uh, were you frustrated yesterday, or how did you, did you feel today? Were you trying to make it up for yesterday? Yeah, uh, you know, I didn't want to come to all-star and leave empty-handed. So I had in my mind I was going to win the, the MVP or the three-point contest. So, uh, you know, I was leaving here with something. 
Jason, you're a couple weeks from your 25th birthday. You've accomplished a lot in this league. Are you taking time to take it all in? Are you able to take this all in at this short a time? And now, obviously, with another award. I guess I'm not 19 anymore. Uh, but yeah, uh, you know, this is, I say it all the time, I'm extremely grateful and, you know, blessed to be in this situation. Um, I'm not too far removed from being a, a kid um, in St. Louis with, you know, a, essentially a ball in a dream and, you know, dreaming about these moments of, of being here. Um, and living out that dream in reality is, um, is hard to describe. Um, and I try not to really think about the things I've accomplished. I never want to get complacent. You know, I'm always chasing something, chasing more. Um, but, you know, you know, I thank God every day that I'm, you know, in this position that um, he surrounded me with, you know, great friends and family and put me in the right position. Um, and just try to have fun, you know, just remember, you know, what I'm doing it for. Last two questions, Jeff in the back and then in the center. J Jason, you just mentioned the stretch run here in the final seven weeks, I'm back here. What have you learned throughout your career that's going to be necessary for you to do over this stretch run to be in the position you want to be heading into the postseason? Yeah, um, you know, I think historically, or at least since I've been in the league, right, the team that have has kind of clicked, you know, in this last stretch, you know, that has, has, has kind of peaked and, and played their best of the season going into the playoffs usually is a team that, you know, wins it all. Um, so this, this stretch is important. Um, you know, you want to be as healthy as possible going into the playoffs, and you want to be playing your best basketball individually and as a group. Um, so, you know, that's what we, we're trying to do. Last question in the center. Hi, Jason. Congratulations again. And what did you think of the new drafting process for All-Star? And do you want to become a captain one day? Or would that be too much pressure? Uh, it, was, it was cool. Um, I didn't know what to expect. Uh, but, you know, it wasn't too bad. Uh, you know, I was just hoping I didn't get picked last. Uh, but, you know, it's all, all fun and, and good for the fans, right? Uh, and, yeah, one day, you know, when LeBron and Giannis stop getting all the fan votes, uh, you know, and I start getting some more, hopefully, you know, I'll be a captain one day. Thank you, Jason. Uh, we